Yo, what's up NFL fans, hub watchers, YouTube subscribers, Twitter and Instagram followers. <clears throat> my throat, my bad guys. How you doing? Back at it with another, or actually one of my, I think this is going to be one of my only general NFL update videos. Uh, Cam Newton, the free agent for about three and a half months now, former MVP, you know, definitely top 10 quarterback in the league when healthy Cam Newton. Has been a free agent, like I said, for the past three months. Nobody's signing him. Well, released last night, it turns out that Cam has signed with the Patriots on a one-year, $7.5 million deal. Now, the deal is almost completely in incentives. And this was something that came out last night. I found out about it, like, in the later times of last night, and I was very surprised. But also, <laughs> if you guys, you know, watch my live streams and all that, where I really do talk general NFL because the channel is mostly Giants-focused, I've been saying for a while now that I think Cam should go to the Patriots and I would like for him to end up there because that's one place I think that he could sort of recapture the success of his early career and basically be Cam Newton again in the sense that he could be a winning quarterback again. Now Cam Newton, he was somebody that I have no idea why teams didn't take a chance on, especially in you know what was kind of a weak quarterback free agency class. Uh, sure, you had Brady, but Brady is 20 years into his career and not the same anymore. Um, you had Philip Rivers, who I could say the same thing for. He's like, what, 16, 17 years into his career? And Philip Rivers is nowhere even close to what Brady is right now. Uh, and then you had Cam. Those were like the three big guys. And then you had, you know, like the, the guys on the tier below them or maybe two tiers below them, like Teddy Bridgewater and all that. You know, Tyrod that went to the Chargers. It was just like, it made no sense why teams didn't pick up Cam Newton. Especially when you know when he's healthy, he's by far the best quarterback out of all the guys that I just listed. Now, the reason that I thought he should go to the Patriots is because, as we all know, Cam is kind of, at this point, a little injury prone. He's had a little injuries on him, a little surgery, you know, done to his body over the years. And one of the main ones, one of the ones that kind of affected his performance the past two years was the soldier surgery and the fact that cam he had to completely change his throwing motion to even come back into the nfl now first and foremost for him to do that shows the dedication that he has to the game and the love that he has to the game dedication to his teammates you know and it shows the passion that burns inside him when it comes to football because if you're at that point where your shoulder is injured the thing probably most important to you as a quarterback because that's what you used to throw and you have to just change your throwing motion that you've been doing for your entire life in one off season and adapt to it and then perfect it it's not easy and a lot of people would give up cam did however try to do that and his new throwing motion is not like his old one he can't really bomb it down the field like he used to he's not really a big throw quarterback like that anymore he works a lot more in the horizontal passing game you know short passes you know the short quick jabs to the defense that's what cam does now and the only team that made sense to me that that actually was a fit for cam and this was a phrase thrown around thrown around a lot oh the charges are for, for fit for cam newton uh maybe maybe but i don't think they would take somebody like that when they drafted justin herbert oh the colts are a fit for cam newton not exactly the colts do use a bit of a deep pass offense a little bit the only team that made sense was the Patriots, not only because for the past 20 years, their offense has been mostly dictated by the horizontal passing game and in between the numbers, but also because they can take anybody and make them fit to their system. That's why they're the Patriots. That's why they've been so successful. They don't necessarily need the big superstars, but now they actually have one and they can make him adapt to their system for sure. And then I've seen like posts about people saying, oh, Cam has, you know, Cam is a distraction off the field. No, he's not. The dude just has a pretty strange fashion sense. And like, honestly, people are not annoyed by it. I think this is something the media is trying to spin. Fans and even his teammates and coaches, they just find it funny. It's kind of, it's a little funny. It's a little fun. And his fashion sense, while kind of looks like a like an old grandma's fashion sense, at the end of the day, nobody really takes problem with it. The same with, um... People say he has, you know, bad interviews sometimes and whatnot, so what? You know, you talk about the footballs, I mean, the business decision he made back in the Super Bowl in 2015, and then the terrible press conference he had after, okay, it happens, um, all that. And, and Cam has just been nothing but a stellar teammate. You never hear anybody talking bad about him. 
He's done a lot in Carolina to give back to the community there. So he's a good player on and off the field. It just made no sense as to why no teams took a chance. So you take a chance, so what? At the best, you're going to have an MVP level quarterback, Cam Newton, that led a Carolina team that had a terrible wide receiving core to the Super Bowl, at least to the Super Bowl appearance against, you know, Peyton Manning and the Broncos. And, you know, at worst, you have what happened last year. Cam gets injured again. He has to sit out the rest of the season. And, you know, then the Patriots move on with Jared Stidham, which a lot of people thought was going to be the plan. And it's kind of funny how for about, in the past 20 years, only three months, the Jets and the Bills could argue that they have the best quarterback in the AFC East. I'm telling you right now, if Cam stays healthy, he's without a doubt the best quarterback in the AFC East. It's just funny. Three months out of 20 years. That's, that's absolutely crazy. Kind of shows to how terrible the other teams are, at, you know, building their teams and whatnot. But, um kind of final thoughts on this is kind of on the contract is the fact that i kind of hope that this recess the quarterback market you talk about cam and andy Dalton specifically two guys who were starters and were good starters cam more so than dalton you know was a great starter and they both go on to teams as a second quarterback option now, i think we all know cam is going to start over stidham um dalton he has the chance to start if something goes wrong with Dak. And like I said, I have faith that Dalton could have success in Dallas. I more than have faith that Newton can, su can succeed in the Patriots. Because I've seen posts saying that, oh, Newton to what? What is his weapons? He got Nikhil Harry, who seemed like a bust, a 34-year-old Julian Elliman. And that's about it. And like Mohamed Sanu. I'm like, all right, well, first of all, Nikhil Harry is entering his second year. The dude can make a big jump for all we know. Julian Elliman only needs to be a good slot receiver. And Mohamed Sanu, all right, he's the third option, but Cam has worked with, you know, wide receiving cores of the same elk before, of the same tier before. For the entirety of his career, um, minus the past two years when McCaffrey and, you know, DJ Moore came on board, Cam has never had a good, you know, good weapons. He has never had a good wide receiving core or a good running back, but he's still always taking Carolina to the playoffs as much as he could. So this is no different in my opinion. Once again, of course, hinges on his health. But getting back to the contract talks, if these quarterbacks, Dalton and Newton, start and they have success, the one thing I hope it does is reset the quarterback market. It's something that's been needed to be reset for a while now. QBs are paid way too much, and then you got a guy like Cam Newton being paid only seven and a half mil a year. Now, I'm not saying it's going to be reset to that, but like, I don't think quarterbacks should be paid $40 million a year. That's absurd. I think like at the most, it should be like around $30 million for the top, top guys. And of course, we know guys like Dak are getting paid $30 million now, and Dak is not a top, top guy. Got guys like Kirk Cousins being paid around the same amount. Jimmy Garoppolo doesn't make any sense, and the quarterback market has needed to be reset. The one thing I hope that comes out of this, the one positive, is that Newton and or Dalton, if Dalton starts, they have success. And teams see that, they see that the money they signed off were cheap deals and that it kind of resets the QB market. They're like, all right, we don't need to go out and spend tens of millions of dollars on quarterback um, or we don't need to go out and spend $40 million on a quarterback when we can get one or, you know, get these guys for less than 10 mil. I hope that kind of sets something in the general manager's minds and, you know, even their quarterback's mind saying that, all right, we probably shouldn't be demanding this much because if Cam has a successful season, um, you're definitely he's gonna be looking for a deal afterwards, but That's the one thing that I want to come out of it because the cap space situation right now in general is kind of whack also But that's kind of my thoughts on it. You know, I'm I was surprised But this was where I wanted him to end up for months now It was the only place that I legitimately thought he actually fit a lot of people said that he fit elsewhere now it was just the Patriots because of the throwing motion because of how his shoulder is now because well they're a fit for anybody and also because is Belichick man he can make anything work so this is the one place I wanted him to go for for a while I really think he could have success there let me know what you think kind of a general NFL vid but it's really big news so we'll see how it goes and I'm out thanks for watching don't forget to like comment subscribe and share I'll catch y'all in the next one